Today on BRS TV we have the Aquamedic Kelk Reactor. The reactor is used to mix fresh water and kelk into a saturated solution of lime water which will add calcium, alkalinity, and raise the pH of your aquarium. These are typically used in conjunction with an auto top-off system like the JBJ or the Tunes Osmolator. This is because these are designed to replace water at a slow rate as it's evaporated from your aquarium, which is perfect for regulating the flow through your calc reactor and slowly adding these chemicals to your aquarium. When used in conjunction with an auto top-off system, kelp can be one of the easiest ways to maintain your calcium alkalinity as well as pH, and really one of the best ways to do it in a low or medium demand tank, such as an LPS only tank, or a tank with just a few SPS corals or clamps. There's two types of calc reactors on the market. There's a slow turning stirrer like this one. There's also a type that has a mixing pump attached to the side. The mixing pump will turn on intermittently via a timer to vigorously mix the calc and water and create a slurry. Now the slurry isn't safe to dose to the aquarium because the pH is too high, so you need to let it settle out and leave just the saturated lime water behind. For this reason, you have to have a secondary timer to turn off the feed pump for an hour or so after each mixing. At Bulk Resupply, we always recommend the stirrer style of calc reactor. It's because it's safer, easier to use, and doesn't require all the timers. It works by having a shaft that goes down the center, slowly spins around, mix up all of the calc with fresh water, creating the saturated lime water we're looking for. Fresh water always enters through the bottom, goes up through the media, ensuring it is truly fully saturated at all times. The benefit of this is it spins so slowly that it can keep it fully saturated at the bottom, but it never creates that dangerous slurry up the top like the pump driven ones do. This means you can keep it on all the time, forget about the timers, and not have to worry about dangerous pH levels in your aquarium. You'll notice that Aquamedic makes recommendations on the size of reactor needed based on the size of your tank. We feel a more accurate way to do this is really to measure the amount of flow going through the actual reactor so we can ensure that it has proper contact time to become fully saturated and at the same time that it has enough time to settle out properly and only have saturated lime water leaving the unit. Because the flow through the system is typically tied to evaporation rates, we recommend that the Kelk 1000 be used on any tank that evaporates less than 1.5 gallons a day, and the Kelk 5000 be used on any tank that evaporates over 1.5 gallons a day. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. For YouTube, double click on the video itself, which will open up a new window with our YouTube homepage. Locate and click on the subscribe button. You can find our Twitter and Facebook pages in the lower left hand corner of our site. If you sign up for either of these, you also get updates on new products, specials, and other things the BRS team is doing. For Facebook, hit the like button up top, and for Twitter, you can hit the follow button. Thank you for watching BRS TV.